to another grocery haul. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Katrina and on this channel, I like to share my family of four's weekly grocery haul and meal plan, as well as what's for dinner videos, meal prep, food, cooking, recipes, dinner ideas, all things food over here. So if you like that kind of content, I would love to have you stick around and hit that subscribe button down below so that you do not miss any future videos from me. I hope you all liked last week's 28 meals for $28. I really want to do some more budget friendly videos like that. So if you did like it let me know down below in the comments so that I can work on it some more videos like that but for now I'm gonna go ahead and read you out this meal plan behind me so if you are ready to see what is on our menu this week go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it so on Monday night we're gonna be having ravioli bolognese Tuesday night is shrimp with fried rice on Wednesday night we are having broccoli pesto pasta Thursday night is chicken enchiladas although I am making those with chicken nuggets because we don't have any chicken in the freezer and I didn't manage to grab any in this week's grocery haul then on Friday night for freezer meal Friday we're just gonna have fish and sheep pan veggies just a bunch of stuff in the freezer on a Saturday night we're gonna have pizza and garlic bread and then on Sunday night we're just gonna have a roast chicken with roast vegetables so that is everything that is on the meal plan this week if you wanted to go ahead and take a screenshot now I'll just leave it here on the page for a second but I'm going to go ahead and grab our groceries now and then I'm going to let you know what is in our grocery haul for the week so I managed to get a ton of sales in this week's grocery haul that I actually ended up saving over $100. So many times I contemplate changing to monthly grocery hauls because I know that the audience is bigger for them and you like watching those more, but I just would be missing out on honestly so many sales of the weekly sales and I would probably end up spending a lot more if I did it that way. So I am really happy with the savings that I made this week. So I'm going to go ahead and try to tell you what items I got for half price and then, you know, just show you the rest of the grocery haul as we go. But first, First thing that I picked up was just this Garnier BB cream. So I usually use Maybelline, I'm pretty sure it's the brand that I get, but this one was, oh, this ring light. I got a new ring light to try to make these videos a little brighter since I am doing the grocery hauls at night now and uh, daylight savings is over. It's kind of really dark and sometimes really hard to show the groceries, but I grabbed this all-in-one uh, BB cream. I thought I'd give it a try in the light. It was half price down to $7 something. So I thought I'd give that a try and see how it goes. Normally when I try new makeup, Cups, it just never works out for me so I'm probably going to regret this but for the price that it was I, I'm not going to regret it that much so it's fine I went ahead and grabbed these garlic vitamins because we are all sick you can probably still hear it in my voice we were sick last week I swear we just keep giving it back to each other we're playing tennis with this cough but I thought I'd go ahead and grab some garlic vitamins for myself to try to um, put it at bay somehow or try to get rid of it a little quicker but I just grabbed these uh, Genova, uh, Synovus ones they were down to five dollars from ten dollars so they were half price as well and now Another thing that I grabbed for half price this week, these were down to $2.20. There was quite a lot of the old El Paso like uh, pitters and things like that, like tacos that were half price. But these stand and stuff taco boats are just really easy for my kids to hold and eat out of rather than the tacos or just the wraps. They just seem to be able to eat these a lot easier and they sort of only have uh, lettuce and cheese and a bit of sauce in theirs. So they're not really massive meat eaters. So um, these just go really well for a quick and easy meal for them. And I've also gone ahead and grabbed this six pack of meat pies this is four dollars they are super cheap they're like the home brand the cheapest brand you can get and then if you've been here a while you know we have crumbed fish on the meal plan quite a lot so i've gone ahead and grabbed these boxes they were half price are down from ten dollars to five dollars which makes them super cheap so i just got six of the lightly battered ones i haven't tried the battered ones before but i thought i'd give them a shot and i also went ahead and just grabbed the six original crumb that we always get I stocked up on these pasta packets. Sometimes I write on my meal plan uh, like a chicken curry pasta snack and a couple people have asked me what that is. This is what I'm talking about when I put that on there. I just use this as a side if we're having like fish and sheep pan vegetables. This is just something a little extra to add on to that or the macaroni and cheese of course but these were down to a dollar something a packet. I think it was like a dollar ten so that was super cheap which is why I stocked up on those as well because they're always just a really good quick and easy side to add on. Next thing I grabbed was these two Belvida products. Now I did buy our normal Belvida breakfast biscuits which are like the four packs of like the um, oval size biscuits but they were sold out apparently which I really find hard to believe. Sometimes I just feel like they're on display racks in a different area of the store and they just don't go looking for them. If they're not in their normal spot they will just put it down as unavailable and then just replace it. But they went ahead and substituted those in my order for these. So I got the Belvida Minis chocolate which is fine because my three-year-old loves those as a snack 
back. But then they also put in these Belvita bakes with the dark chocolate, um, with real dark chocolate pieces. These are new. I haven't had these before. I'm excited to give them a try. So I also don't mind that substitute, but it is a little annoying that now we don't have any of the basic ones because my one-year-old really likes to snack on those breakfast biscuits. So I'm probably going to have to go and have a look for them tomorrow if I can. I also picked up a 200 pack of these little ones nappy bags. I think they're about $2. So they're super cheap and they just last forever. I also grabbed a couple little soups here for myself. I'm finding at dinner time, I'm not really that hungry that I want a full meal. So I thought I'd grab a couple of these soups for myself. And I also am pretty sure they were in the catalog on sale as well, which is why they stood out to me and I grabbed them. So I just got a potato and leek soup here. And I also got one of the Asian style chicken and corn soup. So I thought they would go well if we're having like pizza and garlic bread or something, then I can just have a soup and garlic bread rather than the heavy pizza. I grabbed my daughter some of these Messy Monkeys chocolate crunch cereal. She's moved on from the strawberry to the chocolate. So now both of them are loving the chocolate one. So I don't have to buy the strawberry one anymore, which is good. I've also grabbed two bags of frozen strawberries for the freezer for our smoothies. You guys know we love our smoothies around here and we just ran out of them. I've also been running out of bananas. So I grabbed another couple bunches of those so I can go ahead and freeze some of them once they brown up a little bit more. I grabbed some strawberries just to snack on during the week. Another thing that was on special this week was croissants. So they were down to $4.50 for the big 10 pack. So they were half price, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze some of those and they will go well for a couple breakfast this week. Then I've also grabbed two of my favorite Tilly's ice creams. These are like low calorie. They're like the Halo Top ice creams that you have in the US, but they are Australian and they only have 320 calories in the chewy gooey chalk brownie tub. And then they only have 275 calories in the silky salt caramel. They are both amazing flavors. I'm loving that they're low calorie and it's just a, more of a guilt-free way for me to have dessert at nighttime. Also on sale this week was these palm olive um, antibacterial hand soap refills. So I went ahead and grabbed four of those. They were down to $3.25 each and that fills up like the um, hand soaps that we have over at the sink here. It fills them up about three times. So it makes it a lot cheaper to be buying the refills when they go half price to fill those up. Paper towel this week was half price again as well. So I went ahead and grabbed two packets of those. We can never have enough of that stocked up in the pantry. I grabbed two packets of these yogurt covered rice cakes. These were down to $1.60. I think they were half price, but they were definitely a good sale. So I did grab two packets for those. And I also grabbed a packet of the mini rice cakes covered in the triple berry yogurt. They weren't on sale, but I just wanted to make sure that we had some of them for my one-year-old to snack on. I grabbed a block of Colby cheese. This is just a great up to put over like pasta and pasta bakes and things like that during the week and this was a dollar off this week it's really rare to find cheese on a good sale i reckon so when it's a dollar off i was just happy for that anyway i grabbed my partner a packet of kingston's i ate his last one the other night so i had to make sure that i grabbed them before he noticed that that's missing and then i also grabbed a packet of toothbrushes this week they were in the catalog too i'm pretty sure i think they were half price but if not, they were on a good sale. I grabbed my kids another toothpaste because they had just run out. So I got this Jack and Jill one. This is a natural toothpaste that I am using on them, but I am trying to get my three-year-old to start. He's almost four. I'm trying to get him to learn how to spit out the toothpaste so that um, I can actually start him on this toothpaste. This is for two to five-year-olds, and I'm pretty sure this one has the fluoride in it, and it's, you know, you can't swallow this one. This one, they could eat the whole tub, and it wouldn't matter. Like, it wouldn't do anything to them. It's completely harmless and safe for babies to swallow every single time but the only pain in that is it does taste good and they have gotten used to actually swallowing the toothpaste on their toothbrush they get excited about the taste and that part of it so it is going to be hard to transition them into using this one I'm definitely not ready to transition my one-year-old but definitely my three uh three-year-old that's turning four I think he's almost ready for normal toothpaste so we will start practicing on this one first and once he's gotten the spitting pattern down pat um we will move on to this one so I went ahead and long story sure I went ahead and grabbed this one to chuck it in the bathroom ready for when he's ready to use normal toothpaste I think it's low fluoride though that's why it's for two to five year olds just in case they do swallow it I suppose also this week I grabbed some yogurt so I got four of these banana boost immunity yogurts for my three-year-old and then I grabbed some yogurts for myself so these were down to a dollar I grabbed these last time they were on sale and they were so good so I got the yellow box honey flavor I got one of the field strawberry and I got two of the caramelized fig flavor that is such a good flavor this was actually the yogurt that introduced me to the flavor of fig and I am a fan I actually like it so I made sure to grab two of that flavor I also grabbed just our usual a2 light two liter milk 
Also this week, because we are all sick, my cousin suggested getting these Yakult, I think they're called um, like probiotic drink yogurts. So I thought I'd go ahead and buy them and give them a try and see if it makes a difference in us feeling better. Another thing that I grabbed on sale this week was these coffee sachets. So I use these all the time. I normally have two a day. So I have the cappuccino sachet in the morning and then I have the cappuccino decaf in the afternoon. Otherwise my anxiety just goes out of control if I have a normal one. But I also wanted to grab these uh, Nescafe Gold cappuccinos. So I thought they looked interesting. So they were all down to $3.15 a box, which is such a good price. I always like to stock up for a couple weeks there if they are half price because I do drink them quite a lot. Another thing I grabbed was just peanut butter. We had run out of that, so I just got a smooth one for the kids. And I also got my partner another refillable water bottle. We fill these up over and over and over again. So I just got him one of them. I went ahead and grabbed a huge lettuce for a couple meals that we are having this week. And I also grabbed some corn thins. Now, I sort of just went with the sales usually, whether I got corn thins or rice cakes. I didn't really know there was much of a difference. I actually didn't even click that they would be different ingredients, but corn thins are actually so much tastier. They taste like popcorn flattened out into like a little pancakes. So if you're a fan of rice cakes and you haven't had corn thins before, I definitely think you should try them because the flavor is so much better. But that is everything that is in this week's grocery haul. As I said, I saved over $100 just by shopping the sales this week. But if you wanted to go ahead and guess how much money I spent on this week's grocery haul, go ahead and leave your guesses in the comments down below because I'm about to let you know the price of everything. So this week's groceries cost $200. There wasn't a discount code this week, which I was pretty upset about considering how much I spent, but I did go ahead and save over $100. If I had have brought all of this stuff at full price, I think it rang up to around $310. So I really did get some bargains in this week's grocery haul. I really can't complain, but I am still curious. Do you prefer to watch monthly grocery hauls or weekly grocery hauls for the other channels that you watch? Which ones do you find more interesting? I just really would love some feedback in the comments so definitely go ahead and share your opinions and things like that down there but also if you guess close to this amount definitely let me know in the comments down below how close your guess was so that is everything that is in this week's grocery haul and meal plan i hope you got some new dinner ideas out of today's video if you did please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel out a ton and also if you can go ahead and comment down below saying hi i love hearing from you all i love chatting to you all so say hi down there let me know that you're watching and also subscribe if you like my content because there is going to be plenty more to come i put videos out every single week and i just really hope to inspire and help you all to cook at home rather than get takeout so often so i hope you all enjoyed today's video I hope to see you all back here again really, really soon. And I hope you all have a really fantastic week. Bye.